Yesterday, the Nevis Corporation that owns Saab Automobile uh, introduced, reintroduced the old logo type from the mid late 60s. Uh, the car in the background here is uh, my new project, the Saab 99 Turbo. Uh, that is a replica of the car that sits in the Saab Car Museum. Well, as you know, the uh, the style of the logo type looks like that. But also, if you have a an old classic Saab Turbo, you will find that logo type almost exactly like the the new uh, Nevis Saab logo type in this on the hubcaps of the Inca wheels, and um, that is kind of interesting that we get the historical connection backwards. Um, I spoke to Bjorn Enval, the designer of not the old Saab uh, logo type, but the original turbo uh, logo type um, with the O that resembles a spinning turbine. Uh, a logo type that was later um, taken away from the Saab range because uh, the Swedish insurance company Scan Scandia had uh, objections that it resembled their uh, corporate logo type too much. So, um, uh, Bjorn told me that uh, in the mid-60s, uh, uh, the Saab management in Trollhattan uh, uh, went forward to talk to a, uh, a PR company in Gothenburg to uh, develop a, a new logo type. And um, he also mentioned that some people in, in Nikoping at the sales department of Saab uh, also had new ideas. And then the manager for the big Saab Scania Corporation, Kai Hammerich, uh, wanted to have a combined um, brand uh, logo type that worked not only for Saab, but also worked for the Scania uh, Truck Corporation. And uh, we saw the, the first cars with the um, uh, Saab logo type uh, on the 99 uh, models of 1968 and I believe also the uh, some parts of uh, the steering wheel of the V4s of that year also had that Saab logo type. Well this is Jorgen Truitt, Saab's United in the garage uh, working on the uh, replica of the very first uh, Saab 99 Turbo.